Welcome to the Applied ML Summit, where today we'll be talking about data to deployment five times faster with Google Cloud. We've got an exciting presentation today with a customer, CNA Insurance, who used Google Cloud to help them accelerate building, deploying, and scaling ML models in production. My name is Polong Lin, developer advocate for Google Cloud on data and AI, and I'm humbled to be here today with Tintu Pathros and Santosh Ladala from CNA Insurance, who will be speaking in a few minutes to tell their story. But first, just to level set a little bit, the bridge between data and AI from data to deployment remains one of the biggest challenges that enterprises face today in digital transformation. Without AI, you're not getting the most out of your data. And without data, you risk a stale, out-of-date, suboptimal ML model. So the barriers between data and AI continue to slow innovation. Data is big, multi-formatted, often siloed, difficult to, to discover or access, and AI ML systems are often isolated. So how can Google Cloud help organizations iterate more quickly and more efficiently from data to AI? So at Google Cloud, we've been hard at work developing a complete environment we call the Data Cloud. So Data Cloud is focused on taking those learnings on operationalizing AI and making them available to our customers. The Data Cloud seeks to remove historical workload barriers between data analysis, model development, and insight or model development uh, and deployment. And our goal is to allow you to work with any data to deliver any innovation in a way that provides the right tool for the job for the different users that are involved in the project. Now, of the various products you saw just now, I want to highlight two that are especially noteworthy. BigQuery, as the cloud data warehouse for your data, data analytics, and even integrated ML and GIS capabilities. And next, with Vertex AI, from model training to model registry, uh, model deployment, ML ops, uh, you can build and train models five times faster compared to traditional notebooks and uh, accelerating speed to market with model training and development. And with that, I'll hand it over to Tintu, who will tell us a little bit more about how CNA Insurance uses Google Cloud. Tintu? Thank you, Palog. Hello, everyone. First of all, I would like to thank Google for the opportunity to present at this AIML Summit. I'm Tintu Petros, Director of Data and Analytics Delivery at CNA. And I have Santosh Larala with me, who is the lead architect of Model Factory. And today, I want to talk about how we build Model Factory on GCP in partnership with Google. But before I get into the details of Model Factory, let me talk about the business problem that we had at our hand. Our team of data scientists used the latest machine learning techniques to build predictive models to solve business problem. However, the time to deploy these models and the overall cost was pretty high and thereby diminishing its value. We had a vision to build an automated assembly line that's called Model Factory, which covers all key pillars of models, model lifecycle, including feature engineering, model training, deployment, and cost deployment. We evaluated multiple tools in the market and eventually picked Vertex AI as our choice to build Model Factory. The main reason why we picked Vertex AI for Model Factory was number one, we really liked the out-of-box capability, which would help us accelerate the development. Number two was the ability to build reusable deployment pipelines using Kubeflow. Number three was the simplified user experience, which helped our users that they didn't have to navigate through different tools. With this, we entered into a partnership with Google and Accenture and we were able to build the first prototype of Model Factory within 12 weeks. And we used this first MVP to deploy 14 models into production. The results were very encouraging. And we were able to deploy these models in 10 weeks. And it also established a feedback loop, which enabled our data scientists to recalibrate these models much more frequently than ever before. With this introduction, let me hand it over to Santosh Ladala, who is the architect of Model Factory, to give you a detailed overview of architecture. Thank you, Tintu. 
So I'm going to share about model factory reference architecture that we're working towards, right? As Tintu said, uh, we, we have several challenges that we want to solve from a platform to de development to deployment and monitoring. So in the, in the uh, model factory reference architecture, the left side you talk about is our data sources and business processes, which generate data. And we ingest that data into BigQuery, uh, which is our uh, data warehouse, where we house raw data as well as the data warehouse structures. And the highlighted boxes, the four boxes, are the solution components of Model Factory. The bottom one is Model Platform, which is Vertex AI. We use out of the box capabilities of Vertex AI notebooks. We also bring in our own container uh, to enhance for to get the VS VS Studio, Jupyter R Studio, so that data scientists can build their models with R and Python. And we have model development where we are building. Uh, analytical data sets or, uh, from our data warehouse to faster de uh, development of the models. And we are using uh, several services like CloudML and NLP, so on and so forth. As part of the model deployment and app integration, we are using Vertex AI out-of-the-box capabilities where we build Q4 pipelines. And these are reusable pipelines components which can be leveraged uh, and so that the models can be built faster. And along with it, after we build and deploy models, we're also focusing on operationalization and monitoring these models. So we are building on top of BigQuery uh, a scoring repository, which will house all the inputs and outputs of the models so that we can build dashboards. We're using Looker and Thatspa to, to build business value dashboards to monitor these models. All the models working, what is the ROI of these models? And we are also doing proactively monitoring with using Google dashboards to monitor our notebooks and see how they're performing, how the models are, what the SLAs look like. In order to support all this, at the bottom, you can see shared services. We are using uh, notebooks, right? Uh, security or for orchestration, we are using Composer. And for CI, CD, we have our own concourse pipelines and we use Alation for our metadata management. So with that, I'm going to hand it over to Tintu, who's going to talk about roadmap of Model Factory. Thank you, Santosh. I get so excited when I see that architecture every time. It reminds me of all the engineering that we did. Now, let me talk about how we went about implementing Model Factory. We took a product-based approach as opposed to a project-driven approach. As you know, in a typical project, there is a start date and an end date. We wanted to have a framework that will allow us to continuously enhance the capabilities of the product based on user and business feedback. As I mentioned earlier, we released our version one of Model Factory that included capabilities such as model training and deployment. And in fact, all the new predictive models that we are developing and deploying are on Model Factory. We are now working on version two of Model Factory where we are incorporating additional capabilities, including reusable feature layer and model monitor. And we expect to continue enhancing this platform in coming months that will enable us to integrate model output more seamlessly into front-end applications. Again, I want to thank Google for being a great partner through our journey. And with this, I'll hand over to Kalant to close. Thank you very much, Tintu and Santar for sharing how you're building out your model factory at CNA Insurance using Google Cloud. And with that, thanks for joining everyone and hope you all enjoy the rest of the Applied ML Summit.